AWS gives precision exams the ability to create innovative products that allow us to compete in the marketplace at very competitive prices. My name is Brett Palmer. I am a partner uh, at Precision Exams and I'm their chief architect. Precision Exams is in the education services industry. We're a SaaS platform. We focus on testing grades 9 through 12 throughout the United States. We'll take anything from 25,000 to 50,000 tests in a day. When they take the tests it needs to complete, they can't have hang-ups. And it's really critical for us that it, when it runs, it's, it's running at peak performance. Some of the challenges that we were trying to address um, early on is we knew we had to scale. We wanted to test in every state. And we knew that uh, to do that, we really needed a, a cloud computing platform. We use a, a MySQL database in our application. And we knew from the beginning that although AWS gave us the scaling horizontally with EC2 instances, at the database, because it's a relational database, we had this single database that wasn't going to be able to scale at the same level. DynamoDB allows us to scale horizontally with our application. So as we add new students in new states, we don't have to start up new instances. We can quickly expand the, the provisioning for our read and write capacity dynamically. When we moved from our custom MySQL solution to DynamoDB, we saw a 30% cost reduction in our overall AWS charges. The latency times are the same whether we're running at 100 reads per second or 1,000 reads per second. So as, as more students come online, we don't start slowing down and students getting kicked out of their tests. Everything works seamlessly. Security is a big concern, uh, particularly with, with students um, and, and privacy issues. So AWS provides lots of security features on the platforms that allow us to, to maintain that security, different keys, different encryption technology we can use. So it's been perfect for that. Our application uh, has a relational model because we, we need some relationships, keep track of students and classes. So in that case, it has a relational model. And originally it was very highly normalized, traditional uh, relational database. But what I think people find now as we write internet applications, and our, our application is an AJAX application that runs in the browser, so it has complicated objects. And the problem with relational models is you end up spending a lot of time writing code that brings these relationships in and then transforms them into objects that you then use in your application. And then vice versa, when you go the other direction, you take those objects and then push them down into, into relational tables. We found early on that it was much more efficient for us to store the document in the database as a clob than it was to break apart the objects. But then we discovered, well, why do we have a relational database if all we're doing is storing a document in this database anyway? AWS has uh, relational services, RDS, and they have NoSQL services like DynamoDB. So it really depends on the type of problem you're trying to solve. If you need to scale and have latency times that, that stay at that same level as you scale out, DynamoDB is hard to beat. If you need a highly relational model, then use RDS. AWS gives us the ability to create innovative solutions that allow us to compete very effectively in the marketplace.